Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Jacob and welcome back to the channel. I've gotten sick of the cold weather and spring is also just such an awesome season. It's warm, but it's not too hot because summer days can sometimes get a little hot. And I feel like people don't give it a lot of credit. Everyone always talks about fall being the best cool season in the year. And don't get me wrong, I love fall, but spring, I feel like people don't notice it as much. When it comes to spring, you have some really nice opportunity to throw on some things you wouldn't be able to do in the fall because the colors are different. Spring's bright, it's new, everything feels fresh. Whereas in fall, you have a lot of earth tones to try and match the colors of the leaves and all that. So in light of this season, I thought I would go over five spring jackets that every guy needs in their wardrobe. Everything I buy today, I will link in the description down below. So if you guys wanna go buy it for yourselves, feel free to check down there and all the items I list will be there. These are gonna be in no particular order or ranking. It's just five jackets that I think that if you bought any of them, they would be perfect for the spring and you'd be able to get a lot of use out of it. So jacket number one is actually gonna be the one that I'm wearing right now. So this is a cream distressed jean jacket from American Eagle. The reason I like it so much is because I think it's perfect for the spring. When you think your darker blue denim jackets, you usually think of the fall. They might have the Sherpa lining at the collar and on the inside to keep you warm. But this one, it's thin, it's lightweight, and since it's a lighter color, I think that it just works great for the springtime. If you watched my last video, you know that I preach trying to have neutral colors, especially when you're first building up a wardrobe, because it gives you a lot more diversity with what you can wear. And cream or white falls perfectly into the category. You can wear this with anything. Right now I have it on with this gray button up shirt and some blue jeans. You guys can't see those right now, but I will post a bunch of outfits that I would do with this jacket on my Instagram. So if you guys want that, it's linked down in the description below. Another thing that's great about this jean jacket is that you can dress it up or dress it down. Right now I have it on with a button up shirt, so obviously it's going a little more of a dressy look. But if you want, you could throw this on with just a black t-shirt, even a hoodie if you want more of that street style vibe to it. And it just works so great with pretty much any piece of clothing that you own. Jacket number two on this list is gonna be probably the most versatile jacket for guides of all time, and that is the black leather biker jacket. I think this is an obvious one. There is literally nothing you can't wear with a leather jacket. You can style it up with some nice shirts and some pants and boots to be a lot more classy with it. You can dress it down with just a t-shirt and ripped jeans to be edgy, and you can even throw a hoodie underneath and go for a lot more street style vibe with it. This particular jacket is from H&M. I got it on sale for $40. I will say with this one, it is not real leather. This is a fake leather mix, but honestly, you cannot tell whatsoever. The jacket looks amazing and it's got great hardware on it, such as buttons on the lapels and the collar and zippers on the cuffs. And I just like those extra details to kind of add some character to it. Another great thing about leather jackets is that they're wind resistant. So they're a lot warmer than this jean jacket would be, for example. So you don't necessarily have to layer to stay warm on the cooler spring days. But if you wanted to, you could of course go right on ahead and do that as well. Overall though, leather jackets are one of the best spring jackets you can buy because they're timeless and they'll never go out of style. You can wear it for years to come with anything and it'll look good every single time because it's a staple for men's wardrobe and won't go out of style like a lot of trends do nowadays. Jacket number three on this list is one that I know is super popular with a bunch of dudes right now and that is gonna be a bomber jacket. Personally, I think bomber jackets are the perfect starting jacket for you to buy if you're just getting into style and men's fashion. Bomber jackets are super casual. So for guys worried about sticking out or drawing more attention to themselves when they're first starting out building their wardrobe, it's a super great way to start off your collection if say a leather jacket is too dressed up for you and you don't wanna go there yet. Bomber jackets are also great pieces for street style. So if that's more your vibe and that's what you're going for is a more streetwear trendy look, I'd say a bomber jacket is the perfect way to start that off. I'll link the one that I own in the description down below. It's super nice quality and it'll keep you warmer on the cooler days, but it's also not too hot that when the weather starts to warm up even more, you're not gonna be boiling in it. It's the perfect balance in between both and that's why I'd say it makes an amazing spring jacket. Another option you can go with if you wanna be a bit dressier than a nylon bomber jacket, but aren't ready to go for a leather jacket yet, is you can get a leather or suede bomber jacket. Personally, I find this to be a great hybrid between a leather jacket and a bomber jacket because that's what it is. But it's a great option if you're not ready to go for a leather jacket yet and you just want to elevate your style a little bit more without going too out there. Number four for spring jackets that every guy should own isn't actually a jacket. For this one, I'm actually going to say vests. Now, this one is a bit trendier, but the reason I say that is because there's so many different styles of vests where some vests you can dress them up to look preppier, kind of like what I like to do with my style, or other vests like puffer vests, for example, look great with a streetwear look. 
The reason these are great for spring is because they provide a bit of extra warmth to your torso and in your body, but you can let your arms free since vests are sleeveless so you don't get too hot. Like I said before, there is tons of styles of vests. There's quilted styles if you want to go preppier. And then there's utility vests, which I'll show in the picture for those who don't know what they are. This is a super trendy look right now. I'd say it's probably the biggest men's fashion trend for spring of 2021. So if you guys want to try one of those out, I don't personally own them, but I'll still link some in the description down below. Jacket number five is for my ultra stylish dudes out there. And this one is actually going to be a blazer. This is probably the dressiest one out of the bunch, but if you can pull it off, you just look so classy. Blazers are great because they're lightweight for the spring weather, but you're also not going to be too cold because it is still a jacket, so you're not going to be too cold on cooler days. I think a blazer is a great piece when you're really trying to bring up your style. Blazers are naturally going to be a lot dressier, but they do have more versatility than you think. A popular look that a lot of guys are doing right now is throwing a t-shirt or a hoodie under the blazer just to bring it down a little bit. You don't have to do this though, you can also throw on a button up shirt or a sweater underneath it if you want to dress it up a little bit more. If you guys are interested in checking out a blazer, RW & Co is always having massive sales on some of their clearance blazers, so if you want I will link that down in the description below and you guys can go check those out. Anyways, that is going to be it for the five jackets every guy should own this spring. If you guys liked the video, don't forget to like it, and comment down below which jacket was your favorite and how you would style it. I do respond to comments and I love to see what you guys think, so if you do that, it would be greatly appreciated. Anyways, thanks again for watching. Stay classy.